Hello and welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, my name is Keegan. I'm the owner of Slippy Studios, a studio dog photography company in Vancouver. So today I wanted to teach you how to utilize your Instagram stories for your dog's Instagram account. Because as a dog photographer, I am quickly realizing that majority of people have an Instagram for their dogs at this point. Whether it's for fun or for some sort of business opportunity, like you're looking to be an influencer or doing collaborations, whatever it may be, even if it is just for fun, you want to see it grow because why else would you be doing it? It's almost like a game and a personal competition to see if you can grow your Instagram account. So a good way to do that is by utilizing your stories. A lot of people focus more on Instagram stories today than they do on posts because it's quicker and easier. You get flash photos or flash videos and it really appeals to people's short attention spans. <laughs> so first I'm going to run you through quickly on how to make an Instagram story. It's really simple. Basically you swipe to the side. <laughs> The screen pops up, make sure it's on story on the bottom there, and then you go ahead and take your video, take your photo, or upload a photo or video from your phone gallery. Simple. Now for the fun part. How to reach an audience, reach your own audience, reach a new audience, and engage. Because that's what Instagram is all about, is communicating and engaging with people. So I'm going to share with you a couple of tricks that I do on my own Instagram account that helps me reach a new audience, not just my followers. So the first one is you can use hashtags. There is a hashtag sticker, but you're only allowed for some reason to use one per post. So an easier way to start typing and type in all the hashtags that you want to use. I believe you can use up to 10 on each story. And then that story will end up under that hashtag for anyone and everyone to see a great way for new people to find your account for the first time and also it's telling Instagram exactly what the story is so for example I use hashtag dog then the Instagram algorithm the Instagram machine it knows that that story has at least something to do with the dog and it will start pushing you towards other like-minded accounts that also like dogs follow dogs or are dogs <laughs> And if you don't want all the hashtags showing up on your story, making it look all cluttered and messy, if you're a little OCD like me, <laughs> then you can actually put a sticker over top of it and Instagram will still recognize the hashtags in your story. So you can kind of hide it, hide it behind another sticker or some sort of emoji type thing or text. And then that way your story is looking very beautiful and you're using the hashtags to be found by new people. Win-win. Another good trick is using the location sticker. So it's very similar to using a hashtag, but with the location. <laughs> so if you use the location sticker and you type in, for example, Vancouver, BC, if you go to that location, if you search that location and click on the stories there, you'll see every single person who's used that location stamp in their stories. It works similar to the hashtags where Instagram will start pairing you with people in similar areas um, that use the same location and so on. Another is to tag people. Tag random accounts that do features, tag your friends. If you use that little mention sticker, then that person that you've tagged is actually able to repost your story. That means that your story will end up on their account for all of their followers to see, which I'm sure would be a lot different than what your followers are. So it's a ton of new people seeing your story. Also, once somebody reposts your story, Anybody looking on that person's stories can tap your story and it automatically brings them to your account. So it's nice and easy for people because the whole thing about Instagram is making it as simple as possible for the audience to view and interact with you. Give them too many steps. <laughs> Give them one step and that will be your best way to gain new followers and new audience. When you are tagging people, make sure you use the actual mention sticker not just typing in at sign and then the handle because sometimes that doesn't send that person a notification that they were tagged in the story and then basically it was all for nothing. I touched on a lot of different tricks on how to gain new followers, people that aren't already following your account, but a good way to increase your engagement on your Instagram account is using the other stickers. So if you see, you got the poll sticker, the question sticker, 
There's, there's tons of shit on there. Use those stickers and get people interacting on your stories. That will tell the Instagram algorithm that people are enjoying what you're posting and then they will start pushing it towards those people over and over again every single day. Because if you look on your own Instagram, you'll notice that you have the same stories, the same accounts up on the top first five every single day because you either went and searched those people, you've direct messaged them, you've interacted with them several times. So Instagram algorithm knows that you like that account and that's why they push it in front of your face every single day because they know that you're gonna click on it and you're gonna watch it. So if you're like me and you don't really enjoy being on Instagram or social media, it doesn't come naturally to you, then think about it this way. When you're on it for personal use, you are the audience, not the entertainer of sorts. What are you doing? What are you looking for? What do you enjoy doing? And then flip it. So when you are the entertainer or the person posting things, do exactly what you are interested in yourself because people are actually quite simple. And when you overcomplicate it, that's when you're unsuccessful. Keep it simple, stupid. <laughs> that's what it's sort of saying for a reason. <laughs> Lastly, just a couple tips on what to post literally anything cute that your dog does. <laughs> it doesn't really matter what it is. The, I find the more relatable, the better it does because people like relatable shit. So yeah, take some pictures, take some videos and just have fun with it. That's what social media is supposed to be for, right? If you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button as well as subscribe. And all this talk about Instagram, don't forget to follow us on it at Floofy Studios. We'll post all of my very, very cute dog photography photos on there so you do not want to miss out. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.